Hi guys, good morning and happy Sunday, or it might be afternoon by the time you're watching, but I am at CVS. We're about to head in here and check out some deals. Now you guys know that my CVS is closing on the 22nd. So today I'm over here at a different CVS. I'm gonna go ahead, test it out. So wish me luck, but we're gonna head in here. We're gonna check out these deals. I'm gonna walk you through the deals in the store. Plus I'll have a printable list of all the deals below the video. So you can print that out, take it to the store with you, and it's gonna help make your shopping trip super easy. And if you are completely new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones. Well, let's go ahead in here. Let's check out these deals. Let me know in the comments below if you got any kind of CRTs or anything good this week. I don't even know if I got anything good, so hopefully i did we'll see what happens let's go ahead check out the deals Okay guys, so I'm in the CVS and check it out. They have these makeup palettes by Michaela. I actually follow her on TikTok, so I thought that was really cool that her makeup is in here. So anyways, there's that. So first up, I'm going to do a CoverGirl deal. So it's buy three, get a $10 extra buck this week. So I'm going to do it based off of what coupons I have. So I'm going to grab a couple of the $6.99 eye pencils. So this is a cheap option. I only have one $3 paper coupon, but I have a $2 digital for CoverGirl eye products. So this should work for that. But if you have two $3 coupons, definitely use those. And then I'm going to use a $3 face product coupon, but I've got to find some kind of face product that maybe is not super ex expensive um, most of them seem to be around like ten dollars or less i mean or more so <laughs> anyways i'm gonna try to stay closer to the ten dollar mark i guess now these right here these are cheaper okay so we've got three dollars off of any face product coupon and these are 8.29 okay but it says on here that it excludes clean beauty. So I wonder if these would be excluded. They do say clean on them. So I think they're excluded. Okay. So I'm not getting that because it says clean on it. And I'm pretty sure it excludes it on the coupon. So um, moving on, <laughs> I'm going to find something different. All of these say clean. I never noticed that before. So I don't know if that's what it's talking about or not. Anyways, there's got to be something around here that is at a decent price that we can pick up. So let's see. Okay, guys. Yeah, so I found some of this BB cream for $9.99. I'm just going to get that. So our total is going to be $22.57. I'm going to use these two paper coupons, the $2 digital, and we also got a $2 instant coupon this week. And if you have your $2 instant coupon from last week, that'll save you even more. I already used mine, but after my coupons, I'm going to be at $12.57. Then I'm going to get back a $10 extra buck. So it'll be $2.57 for all three. But if you have that $2 coupon from last week as well, you could get all of this for $0.57. Cents. Next up, I'm going to grab these U by Kotex pads. They're buy two, get a $2 extra buck. And they're buy one, get one 50% off. So it'll be $6.58 for two of these. We have a three off six app only coupon that came out last week. And we also have a $2 manufacturer digital. So we're going to pay $1.58, get a $2 extra buck, makes this free and a 41 cent money maker. So that is an awesome, awesome deal. Guys, oh my gosh, look at these. I am getting these. They're buying it on 50% off. <laughs> They're so cute. Walmart hardly had any scarecrows and I need these for my fall decorations. So I am picking these little cuties up. They got so many cute things. Okay, moving on. These little snacks right here. So grab these. They're two for $3, but you get back a $2 extra buck when you buy two. So it's going to make your final cost a dollar for both or just 50 cents each. So that's not too bad for a quick snack. Next, I'm going to do this deal for spend 20, get a $5 extra care buck. I want to get this big thing of the bounty. We don't have tons of good coupons, but we do have a $1 digital. So I'm going to grab a pack that is not ripped and it's the eight equals 12 rolls. And like I said, clip that $1 digital. Next, I had to record over this part because I grabbed Tide Pods for $5.49. They're not included in this week's deal. 
do not grab those grab the liquid for $6.99 then your total will be $21.98 you're going to use two one dollar digital coupons pay $19.98 get a five dollar extra buck and it makes it $14.98 for the paper towels and the liquid that is $6.99 don't grab these Tide Pods because I did not earn my extra buck back so I have to return them later in the week and switch it out for the liquid to earn my five dollar extra care buck Next up, if you need some toothbrushes, this is a great deal. They're buy four, get a $6 extra buck. These are $3.99 each, so four will total you $15.96. Check on your digitals for a six off four manufacturer coupon and check and see if you have a three off 18 oral care. If you do, you're gonna pay $6.96, earn a $6 extra buck back, making the final cost just 96 cents for all four toothbrushes. Definitely a great deal if you have those coupons to pair up go ahead and grab it. Next up, we've got some good savings on the Burt's Bees toothpaste. These are $4.99 each, so your total will be $9.98 with two. We have a five off two digital coupon, which puts us at $4.98. Get a $3 extra buck back, makes it just $1.98 for both of these. So that is definitely a pretty good deal for the Burt's Bees. I know normally we get free toothpaste, but if you wanna try out this fancier kind, you could definitely do that. So next, I'm going to grab some of the Axe products for buy one, get one 50% off. They're buy two, get a $3 extra buck. I'm trying to decide which scent to pick up. So I'm going to try out my buy one, get one free coupon here at CVS. You know I had trouble with it last week at Walgreens, so hopefully it goes smooth. You're going to buy one, get one free. So it should take off $2.99 if it takes off the lower amount. You pay $5.99, get a $3 extra buck. It'll make it $2.99 for both. And I guess I'm going to get... No, those are not the same. Okay, I'm going to put that one back and that one back. And you know, I saw this one over here. And I think I'm just going to get this one. It's called Apollo, which is the name of one of my cats. So <laughs> why not <laughs> go ahead and grab two of these? It'll be $2.99 for the two after the coupon. All right, guys, so this is what I'm picking up today. I have my paper coupon for the Axe Body Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm also gonna be using a 10 off 70 CRT. That's a purchase CRT that does vary by account, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it on this transaction and we'll go over the receipt as soon as I get back to the house. All right, guys, so I'm back in the car from CVS. The transaction went so smooth. I think all my coupons came off. The cashier was super nice, which that was such a relief because I was a little nervous going to a whole new store. I've gone to this one like once or twice before and normally it wasn't that great of an experience. So um, the cashier, she was really, really nice and friendly. I even told her like, as I was checking out, I was like, once we get, you know, to the digitals, I was like, could you let me know what coupons are coming off or, you know, I have a 10 off 70 I wanna use and some extra bucks I wanna use. And she was like, oh yeah, of course. She was like, I always do that just to make sure, you know, the customer's saving the most money money and all that so she told me what was coming off and then also you know which other ones I could apply if I wanted to so that was awesome and she said she works most Sundays so I'm like okay like so maybe I got me a new friendly cashier we'll see how it goes but anyways guys let's head home let's look over this receipt and talk final cost of everything we picked up today all right guys so i am back home and this is my cbs haul for this week and let me just start off by saying you know i thought the transaction went so well i was really happy with it all of that well guys i'm here to tell you i messed up this transaction i cost myself extra money today oh my goodness so at first when i got at home and i opened my coupon notebook i was like uh oh why are these coupons still in here because I used the Axe paper coupon but I forgot that right in the front here I had sat my two CoverGirl coupons that I was going to use that's six dollars worth of coupons you guys that I forgot to give the cashier so when I tell you I messed up this transaction I messed it up in a couple of ways so let me say at first um I think that part of the reason that I messed it up, and I'm going to show you guys the whole thing anyways, because you know how I am, the good, the bad, the ugly, I'm going to give it to you all of it. So, um, basically when I went in, you know, today I was a little nervous because I'm stop, I'm stopping at a new store. I don't know how it's going to be 
all of that. So I felt pretty good about the deals I was doing. So leaving out the paper coupons, that's kind of, you know, innocent mistake there. Um, so unfortunately cost myself extra money. But the main thing, honestly, besides that, that I messed up on today was when I did this deal right here. I was so excited to get the paper towels and I was like, oh, I'll just throw some Tide in there with it. Well, you guys, um, my data right now on my phone um, is like we've run out of data, which we never normally run out of data this early in the month, right? So I couldn't hardly get a signal in CVS, so I normally will scan all my items. I scanned a couple of the items. Some of it would go through, some of it wouldn't, and sometimes I'll double check the ad as I'm shopping, things like that. Well, I accidentally got these Tide Pods that are $5.49. They're normally included in the Extra Buck deal. They are not this week. So... I should have got the liquid Tide that was $6.99 or one of the Downy products that was $6.99, but totally messed that one up. So I did not get the $5 extra buck for these two products. So I just now realized that. So I'm going to tell you what my total ended up being and then what, you know, it should have been or could have been. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and look at this receipt and talk final cost. So you can see right here on my receipt, all of my items, um, Another thing that I did, I'll tell you about in a minute. Now, I will say one good thing. You know, I had trouble using those Axe coupons over at Walgreens last week. They, they, it kicked it out, and the manager, he wouldn't type in the manual amount, even though it says, you know, that you have to indicate the amount. Anyways, so the cashier here at CVS, she looked at the coupon, and it says um, a value up to $8. So, she just put the whole $8. I was only expecting to get off like $2.99 or so. So, that turned out really great for me, and it's a good thing because it saved me a little, seeing as I messed up on some of my other stuff. So, I had my $5 off to a Burt's coupon, a $2 G by Kotex, a dollar on Tide, a dollar on Bounty, my 10 off 70, and my $2 off Select Beauty items, which was for the CoverGirl. Then I used some extra bucks. You can see all the extra bucks I used, which was $38 in extra bucks. And it left me to pay $6.54 plus tax out of pocket. So I did have a very low out of pocket today, but it could have been even less um, had I, you know, got that together and done it the correct way. So on this transaction right here, if you take that $6.54 and you add back in $38 in extra bucks that I used to pay, that puts me at $44.54. Now, on this transaction right here, we got back these extra bucks. We got $3 for uh, the Burt's Bees deal. We got $2 for the snacks. We got back $10 for the cover girl. And we got back $3 on the axe and we got back two dollars on i think it was the you buy kotex so with all the extra bucks back we got about twenty dollars in extra bucks back it would have put me at a final cost of twenty four fifty four for all of this okay now obviously i was expecting my total to be less then I realized, of course, that I forgot to give them my two $6 CoverGirl coupons. So technically, all of this would have been around $18.54. But the reason that it was still more than I thought it should be is because I didn't get back the $5 extra buck for this deal. So since I bought this, I can still do another deal later in the week to go ahead and get that extra buck. So if you look down on your bottom of your receipt, it's going to show you what you've done for, you know, buying certain amounts and getting a certain amount back. So you can see here, $14.99, the bounty counted towards the spend 20 deal. But because those Tide Pods were not included this week and I messed up on that, it says I still need to spend $5.01 to get that $5 extra buck back. So I'm gonna go back in, get one of the $6.99 products during the week, and that'll get me that $5 extra buck back so I don't completely miss out on it. But overall, with that, um, it would have got me down to what, like around $12, $13 for all of this. Another mistake that I made, like I said, guys, apparently today I was full of them over at CVS. Um, I forgot that for my three off six for the U by Kotex, I needed to account for my 10 off 70. So I was using a 10 off 70 and the three off six, which means that my total should have been around 76 to use both coupons. And my total was about 71 before coupons. So because I did not account for that, I also missed out on that. So overall today, I could have gotten all of this probably for around $10 
um, or a couple dollars more if I had to add something else in. But because I made those mistakes, it did cost me more. But definitely just be careful when you're doing your deals. So definitely check out that printable list below the video. I have all the deals corrected on there. And I appreciate you guys so, so much for watching. Like I told you guys, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Everyone makes <laughs> mistakes on their stuff. So this is real life. This is how it turned out for me today. But overall, I still paid very little out of pocket. So it wasn't too bad. But let me know in the comments below what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.